Yeah. And how long does it take you to do an original? So the original ills I have, <laughs> yeah, they're massive. Yeah. And, um, yeah. Do not underestimate the power of the dark side is one of them as well. It's one of your biggest, I'd say. Yeah, that yeah. one, like how long would it take you to to do one of those? It's, it's difficult to say because I never really work on one painting at a time. I've always got three, four, five on a go at once. So it's never a case of, right, you start. Um, obviously, sketching takes probably more time than the painting coming up with the idea, for me anyway until I've got it sort of spot on what I want to sort of put on canvas. And then the painting, dependent again on, on if there's a lot of characters or a single character. Ooh, I suppose some of the longest ones I've done have took, took maybe a fortnight, but some of the quickest ones, I remember I did a Spider-Man one and he had a balaclava on and I was able to do that literally in one go, like started it on the morning, finished late evening sort of thing. So it, it's all very dependent, yeah. And again, like you said, down to size as well, it depends how big the painting is, yeah. And that process is really interesting. I know every artist has their own process. Like um, with me, I mainly do portraits of rugby players. Yeah. But they're from original pictures that I take yeah. from and do it from that. Like would you, do you generate the kids from your imagination or do you have a, a an image of a child that you use as inspiration or uh, and then so you have that concept then you do the sketching and then you do the the painting can you go through yeah. that process well well what it is it's, it's a kind of mixture of all all of those things sometimes i'll i'll literally come across a photo and i, I just love how, how a child's face is lit or whatever and so so i use that as as the basic sort of concept because a lot of the paintings I do there's no way I'm going to find a kid doing the exact thing I search I search because that saved me time trust me but yeah. I can't do it so so it's a case of just looking at lots of reference and just getting a general idea rather than focusing on one one photo shall we say and so you end up sketching something else and plus I don't want to copy a photo because then you find you, you're restricted because you're forever looking at that reference and thinking, oh, that ain't right. And you know what I mean? It takes the spontaneity out of it. So in answer to your question, yeah, I use reference, but for the most part, once it becomes a sketch, it's kind of morphed into something again. And, and the faces, I usually always draw the faces from my head. Yeah. 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 And, and even, even that said, I'll sketch something out, put it on the canvas, because usually I, I trace... So I'll, I'll put it on tracing paper so I can get it on the canvas that way. And then once I roughly sketch it out, as I paint it, I'll, I'll change things all the time. Sometimes I've, I've changed a whole character, you know, which I should have thought of before. You know what I mean? That, that's, that's the whole point about it. That's, that's why I do a lot of the same images again, because I'll finish them and think, I could have done that better. So, so it's, it's always sort of changing and evolving all the time.